Welcome to this tech tip showing how to build wrapped toolpath in EdgeCam for lathes with C-axis live tooling capability. My name is Joe Sanders and I'm part of the application engineer team at M2 Technologies. We help manufacturing companies turn initial concepts into finished products faster by integrating digital prototyping into the design and manufacturing process. EdgeCam is one of the software tools that we use to help our customers produce high quality finished products faster and at lower cost. C-axis wrapped milling creates a type of radial milling tool path for lathes with live tooling. It is quite useful for turning centers that don't have Y-axis capability. In this type of application, the tool machines along the Z-axis and the rotary C-axis. The tool is normal to the part center line Y0 and machines at a constant distance to part center. The programmed motion positions at Y0 plunges into material along the X axis then feeds the Z and C axis together. This results in milling tool path suitable for wrapped pockets and slots, ears, and other concentric geometry. Keep in mind that EdgeCam also offers 4 axis simultaneous milling to easily handle more complex geometry. This module allows the tool to leave the center line, change the distance to center during machining, and perform off-center machining using the leading edge of the tool. Sketching the geometry for the wrapped contour milling is quite simple. The process starts by creating an unwrapped work plane, which is similar to unrolling the label from a can. Next, geometry is drawn on the unwrapped plane. The toolpath is built just like any other toolpath, simply adding rotary mode to designate feed control for the rotary axis. Users with solid models can use the Power Unwrap Freeware utility, rather than sketching geometry. Let's take a look at the process of sketching geometry. This part has the cross section already sketched. We'll use the Unwrap command to create a CPL, or work plane, using the line for the outside diameter. Notice that the wrap 0 CPL is created and made active and that the Z level is set to the radius value of the outside diameter of the part. Looking from an isometric view, the flattened envelope is clearly visible. Geometry can be sketched on this plane using standard XYZ coordinates as done here to place the first slot. The key to working in the unwrap envelope is to convert the y-axis distances to c-axis degrees. This can be done using the simple formula 360 divided by pi times the diameter. To make the copies of the slot, we can type this formula directly into the dialog. It is also possible to simply digitize the y-axis motion, entering y0 as the starting point, and C45 is the destination. Notice the slots. It's irrelevant whether they extend past the unwrap envelope. The rotary menu provides helpful commands to justify the envelope, add a ruler, and easily create rotary points. There's also a command to wrap the geometry, which is simply a helpful visual aid. The toolpath can be built using only the unwrapped geometry. Speaking of toolpath, it's created as normal, but with rotary mode selected. Simulation shows the toolpath results, where the slots are machined with rotary axis interpolation. This is a small sampling of EdgeCam's industry-leading technology. Visit our website for more information, and contact us if you're ready to reduce the time it takes to design and manufacture products.